Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome to Comdarchi Podcast Season 6. Saison 6 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 6 of Comme d'Archi with a text by the Lineup Architecture Office about two of their projects, Reinventing Calvi in Corsica, France, and D08 in Saint-Jacques-de-la-Lande, France. But first, let them introduce themselves. The Lineup Architecture Agency was born in 2015 in Rennes, the result of a meeting between Alexandre Plantadi and Chloé Lorio Prévost, both graduates of the École Nationale Supérieure d'Architecture et de Paysage in the northern French city of Lille. Chloé Lorio Prévost first worked in Paris before settling in Rennes after two years in Japan. Alexandre Plantadi worked with several Parisian agencies, including K Architectures and Brenac et González et Associés. Nourished by these solid and diversified experiences, the architectural practice developed by Lineup Architecture is defined by the search for a balance between two approaches. The first, pragmatic and rooted in reality. The second, sensitive and dreamlike. Working on all types of programs and scales, the agency's projects emerge from the field of possibilities, opened up by this in-between approach. Lineup architecture confronts two universes, two personalities, two ways of thinking that express themselves through a common destiny, guided by intuition and creativity. The agency draws its strength from the clash of opposites and the harmony of differences to find the right balance between the singular history of a place, a context, and a program. Because being environmentally responsible is no longer an option, the search for sobriety runs through the entire production of an agency that defends an architecture in tune with its time and contemporary issues. Now, the first project, Calvi. Calvi has an exceptional and unique geographic location. Its citadel overlooks a bay between plains and mountains, controlled by the Monte Cinto. The historic town is concentrated at the tip of the peninsula. The recent urban planning gathers around the highway. Constructions are scattered and anarchical, renewing the city entrance. Like most cities, franchises, malls, warehouses and studios are organized around the main road. This means that the arrival in Calvi is sequenced by the railway's passengers, gas stations and wild parking lots, so well described by Rem Kuhas as the junk space. Urban thresholds and city walks. We have restructured the city's entrance road. Since the train station is moved and placed at the heart of the city, we suggested creating two public squares on both sides of the new railway station. The idea is to sequence the city from the new train station's forecourt to the historic town, as well as to the new neighborhood developed south, with alternate views of the sea, citadel, neighborhood and harbor, public space. North of the city, from the train station's forecourt, a large open square offers a wide view on the Mediterranean landscape and the citadel. The market square welcomes numerous tourism events from a cliff road overlooking the harbour. South of the railway station, a whole new neighbourhood appears around the brand new square. The place's name reveals the human nature of the area, as well as the architectural and urban particularities regarding the presence of water in the city. This public space, which is oriented towards neighbourhood life, features views and experiences of the city's historic heritage, thanks to the division of blocks and facades. Multimodal, multi-program. The program offers to locate the structuring facilities adjoining the market square, while apartments will be situated around the southern part of the square. 
In close proximity to the train station, the equipment recreates a building front to the street and sets the bus area on the block newly created with the station. This building was thought as a mutable space, enabling to meet and adapt the city's needs to its evolutions. The harbour, landscape infrastructure, takes advantage of these new scales to stretch out and structure itself around an extended city centre. Skyline. The architecture expands from the second to the fourth floor to fit into the neighbourhood's historical architectural context. Some architectural punctuations on the seventh floor produce new visual landmarks. The division of facades, created by this work, enables to modulate light on the public space, open views, and provide the new neighbourhood with an original and particular identity. At the heart of the blocks, itineraries dedicated to soft modes foster pedestrian walks from the southern square to the market square. The created division among blocks partitions private spaces associated with the life of the neighborhood's new residents by offering family gardens at the bottom of the buildings. The second project, D08, a new and iconic part of the city called the Kourouz, known to have boosted the tertiary sector for the past 15 years, is taking shape. We have designed here a piece of the puzzle which is part of the Secchi Vigano Agency's urban planning project. Our domino finds its place and plays with colors and heights with its immediate neighbors. Camel function, retail, living, working. This project's challenge is twofold. Urban, as it deals with the neighborhood's future social diversity, heavily emphasized by the offices and programmatic, and to highlight the housing's inhabited nature at the heart of this tertiary center. The project combines different scales and offers a range of public spaces connected with one another on various levels. We wish to create an environment at a pedestrian scale, a sequence series, a meticulous coordination program with the landscaper La Plage Paysage. By suggesting different levels of roofs and terraces, offering multiple transparencies, the architecture helps convey public and private uses of the street, the building, and the new neighborhood. Fifth facade to live like a courtyard. The building is divided into three blocks which lie onto a common base. The bays hold all parking areas, shops, halls and offices. It presents a free floor area on the upper level, gradually rising between 1.5 meter and 6 meters its highest point. It is a real opportunity to achieve a progression a colonization of public space on the roof, a path progressing into a dense landscape and finishing with a belvedere, a landscape roof. Outside features are based on two major spaces, a small urban square located at street level as an extension of the neighborhood's public spaces and a higher square for local residents. Our ambition is to connect these spaces to create a physical and visual continuity from the public space to the apartments. Landscaping the bays is key to the place's identity, offering new uses and concepts of living. The building profile focuses on simple volumes in compliance with the Joint Development Zone context, Zach in French. The facade treatment aims a sober, elegant and domestic image to favor ownership from the neighborhood's residents, construction colors and materials. The project presents a powerful architecture aiming at abstraction. Variations occur for volumes and colors, which identify each building as well as opening nuances. It uses simple and lasting materials. Facades are worked to form a consistent whole without distinction of treatment, according to the operations programs. A raw concrete envelope combining two shades of gray, light and darker, works by using a matrix to nuance these tints. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for a new Comdarchi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. And thanks to the sound engineer who was collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. 
If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.